Hello and welcome. In today's video, we will learn how Laravel uses cache to improve performance and what are the commands offered by Laravel so that we can use, make use of these kind of cache. So uh, type of caches are caching the config files because there are a lot of config files in Laravel uh, by running the PSP Artisan config cache. We will just combine all of those config files into one also if you want to clear the existing con cache and do not you do not want to use that config caching you can just run config clear command and then it will not cache so let's see this uh, config level cache in action so before uh, before diving into this uh, just uh, take a quick lo look at what are the other type of cache that are exist like caching the routes views packages and services uh, application level caches by you where you run in code level cache remember different kind of queries you cache different kind of queries that all comes under the application and also you can uh, cache the events all right so uh, let's go to vs code and see how this config cache works so in f uh, sorry in config there are a lot of config files so uh, Laravel will have to look up to all these config to get the uh, configuration for required for different kind of service. So by running config cache command, it will just uh, put that into one file. So PSP artisan config cache. So what this will do is this will clear the previously set configuration cache and then cache the new configuration. So if you go inside uh, bootstrap cache, there is config.psv. So here, if you see, you got all of the, this is the concatenation of all config file into one. So everything is just merged into one. So that Laravel have easy to just look up to this file rather than going to all config, all right? So by the way, if you don't want this config, config cache, especially while you are developing on local environment, just don't do this. This is only for production, uh, just to PSP artisan config clear. And it will just remove that file, config file. So this file is now deleted. And while developing on your local, just uh, run this config clear. If you have previously run cache command, Otherwise, it's totally fine. Okay, so now uh, this command must be the part of your deployment where you put these, these are all commands. So another one is route. Similarly, if you want to cast the route. So after running, uh, sorry, after running this command, PSP artisan, sorry about that instead of config just run the route cache then it will create new file this routes which contains all the route so after running this command uh, you say you make changed uh, to route and it will not reflect on your application so if you change anything it will not take effect because you have cached that you have to clear this cache or rerun this command route cache again so that it will clear previous cache and then cache the route. So this is also a part should be part of deployment, not for your local development. Also, we have same thing for events. We have several events so that Laravel uh, by running the event cache, we will just prevent Laravel from scanning all the listener on every request. All right, so uh, this is the caching command. If you want to clear or remove that caching functionality, these are the commands. So these are the counter command for these, although they will run uh, clear command first and then cache it. All right, so these are the command and these are the counter commands. Also, second thing uh, we have covered, we have uh, this view so what uh, Laravel does is in view we use the blade syntax right so 
uh, we have to compile that whenever we hit suppose this route or this route uh, we have this welcome view and here we see all the blade templates these templates need to be compiled to the core PSP so uh, Laravel will um, compile these files into uh, view files so suppose we visit uh, let's visit the welcome looks like this is not up let's make it up using PSP artisan serve okay suppose we hit home and then Laravel compiles that and save this inside I suppose framework views so here are all the compiled files you can see this home.blade is compiled to like this so all the PSP tags good old PSP and all the yielding is done here so these are all the compiled files here so if you want to clear these compiled views what you can do is PSP artisan view clear all right so compile view are now gone all right so this is the another trick although it is not required to uh, clear all the views so view clear also if you want to just cast these view there is command view cast so it will cast the all views in your application so it will scan through all the blade views and then cast it there you go so all the views in your application are now cast and now compiled and cast so Laravel will use this view so similarly there is another uh, application level cache so application level cache means suppose we are caching any query manually like using cache remember or cache some kind of keys and then putting value there whenever we hit this route Laravel will cache this um, into this key and next time we just run this command it will take from cache so if we want to clear that we have command cache clear so PSP artisan cache clear will clear all the application level caches so cache clear will not, not clear other kind of caches alright so just application level cache also there is packages and service cache so uh, different kind of package and service if you go inside app, uh, sorry application level bootstrap here is packages here is services so all the packages used by our application they use some kind of service provider so all of those provider are cached inside package.php and services.php so uh, these are automatically cached whenever you run uh, PHP sorry composer install for first time or composer update they are all cached after each running of composer so basically there is command PHP arts and optimize which will do the class map optimization and all these package and service optimization so if you want to if for some reason you want to remove these you have to run php artisan clear compiled now watch out for these two files they will be removed there we go so these are removed and if you ever want to do, um, bring them back what you have to do is php artisan optimize so what it will do is this optimize command uh, just caches configuration cache and route cache also files are cache so this PHP artisan optimize command will just do all these three things and we can see our services everything back all right so if you ever want to uh, clear all kind of caches so suppose you are developing and nothing seems to work your changes are not getting reflected what you can do is run this command php artisan optimize clear all right so if you run this command php artisan optimize clear it will do these kind of 
clearing of cache so events are cleared compiled views application level cache route configuration compile services file remove cache is cleared successfully so basically what this command will do is this will clear everything like these all right so all of these in one command also uh, there if you want to optimize autoloader just refresh the autoloader because uh, we a composer uses uh, composer just looks through the files in our composer file and just detects them uh, just uh, detects all of our file using our definition like we are saying our namespace is so every file is inside f look for any namespace containing f inside f folder we have other kind of these so all of these will be refreshed by doing composer dump autoload so if you download some app from github or any other repository you your composer is not working or anything is missing so it is saying class not found just refresh the autoloader using dump autoloader uh, by the way if you run this command this autoloader will be refreshed so this will also do class map optimization sorry <coughs> All right, so these are uh, basically some commands that you can use to optimize the cache. So I now I hope you have better understanding of all these commands. Uh, I hope uh, for me it was a bit confusing at first. Hope it helped you. I will see you on another video. Bye.